What's up, boy? It's Timo with Timo Vapes. Thank you so much for joining this live stream. We are just kind of kind of hang out and chat. So uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead. And I know we've got like one people, one person watching, but just go ahead and uh, say hi in the chat when you, whenever you get in here. So I am just gonna chill here. We're just gonna chill. What's up, Ball Sonic? What's up, Eric Stockton? This is totally random. What's up, man? There is, uh, you know, this is, this is just going to be totally doing it live off the cuff, man. There is not going to be much structure to this at all. So, yeah, no, but we're here. We're streaming. What's going on, James Franklin? We got TC Vapes. We got Import Man 707, Balsonic, Eric Stockton, Kev W. Hi, what's up? What's up, everybody? So, Bones the Skata. Hi, Demo. What's up? So, so yeah, so this is just going to be kind of a pre, I'm, I'm, I'm about to finish editing my travel vlog and I am real late on that because I'm getting over the flu. So uh, I was, I was kind of, I was kind of screwed for a little bit there, but uh, Mirko, sup, crazy cook, what up, what up everybody, Eric Stocken, oh, wow. I never even noticed that. I always called you Eric Stockton. It just it just comes off the tongue naturally. What's up, Dustin Vapor? TC Vapes, how are those coils coming along? They are done as of, uh, well, so I've got your set done, and then I've got uh, Richard Bowen's set done, and then I've got one other person who is done. Um, so... Sir, no, who's not done? So I've got I've got one more set of coils to do tonight, and then those will be going out tomorrow. So we'll uh, we'll deal with that tomorrow. So, what's up, Mr. Panda, Miranda Jones? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, okay, excuse me. Um, we're gonna have Nick Bissett on around eight p.m. Central for a little bit. Um, we've got twenty minutes until then. You know, just thought I'd uh, come on here, hang out with you guys, just chill. Um, Vape broth. Yeah, man. I was like, well, I think who was it that suggested that? Was it Nick Bissett or someone? So I was just streaming live on Facebook and I was like, vape stew, almost vape, maybe vape stew, random vape stew, you know, one of those kind of things. And uh, I think someone, I think it was Nick Bissett, but someone said vape broth. If it was not Nick Bissett, uh, you know, type yourself in the chat and let me know. Um, vape broth. I was like, well, it's, it's it's not quite a stew, right? It's vape broth, right? That's what someone said. So I was like, yeah, yeah, vape broth. It was Nick, boy. Um, what's up, Michael Diamantino, Kevin K? What's up, everybody? Crazy cook, love your car. Thanks, man. I love my car too. It's in it's in California right now, waiting to be sold. So, is what it is. It's time. Okay, so what am I vaping on right now? I suppose I should probably make this a little bit interesting for you guys. You know, you're here. So um, right now I am vaping on the Twisted Messes 24 Pro Series. This is the blue one with the red beauty barrel and uh, a drip, drip tip on the red 2700 Titan. And I like this vape. It is awesome, except for the fact that it is... The O-rings are non-existent. There's nothing nothing holding these on like it does not i can't even let go of that mod really and this drip tip watch this 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 does not pass my test right look if i can pull a drip tip out with my lips it's a problem so um o-rings don't pass the tests at all but other than that it's a great vape i've got inside of this i've got crispies crispies by Sicquid. See if I can back that up. Maybe it'll focus a little bit better. Uh, I don't know. Crispies by Sicquid. Um, so TM24 Pro, that is second on the list. I've got the Dead Rabbit SQ is next, and then I'm probably going to do the Twisted Messes 24 Pro after that. So um, possibly with the 502 thrown in there somewhere. So look, I know, okay. So I know that Dental Floss fixes these things. I get that. But for me, like as a consumer, that helps me a lot, right? And that definitely helps other consumers but as a reviewer i review the product i get right so if it has bad o-rings it has bad o-rings right like and i i have to use it as such because that's what i got right so i try not to modify products i get for review i try to kind of keep them you know with some integrity but that's uh you know it does it definitely does work the dental floss thing does work right o-rings what tolerance is what um 
let's see here. What do we got here? Some, yeah, I know. Yeah, your Twisted Mess is 24 Pro. There, there are some people who have really good O-rings on theirs, and and then others just don't. You know, it's it's kind of... Right, and I agree. You shouldn't have to put dental floss on them. You shouldn't have to, but it does work in a pinch. Um, so there is that. Let me just go ahead and juice this thing up so I can take a hit and not die. Oh, now this now this bottle won't screw on. Okay, I hate glass bottles. It's good. It's really good. It's good vape. Um, all right, and then I've got um, what's up, Jack Savage? What's up, everybody? Um, I've got an anarchist uh, Hexome right here, Hexome V3, with a original. OG game, uh, uh, Jesus, an OG recoil up top. Inside of this, I'm rocking a 0 0.21, 27 gauge Nichrome infused Clapton, uh, three millimeters, seven wraps, dual coil 0 0.21. Beautiful. Ooh, it's good. Um, Mama Son, Mama Melon, inside of that. Um, I'll get to all your questions in just a second once I get through what I'm vaping. Um, and then I've got the Flux Tank from, from Synthetic Cloud. So I picked this up on a deal. Uh, I think they had it like as an add-on item to a thing I was ordering. And it was like 10 bucks. And normally this tank I think was like $45 new. Um, and it is a $45 tank, let me tell you. It is a $45 tank. The threads are beautiful. All the O-ring tolerances, like... Well, maybe not O-ring tolerances, but like the way this airflow feels, it's just everything feels really nice and it's super smooth. This is a 0.16 at 65 watts. Lovely, nice and restrictive lung hit. Also Mama Melon in that as well. And then um, where are my pod systems? Fix, Stig. This is the disposable pod system. So this is pretty legit. Um, oh yeah, I did forget to mention that. Double barrel mod, I do love this mod. This is one of my favorite uh, little 18650, dual 18650 mods, it's great. Um, and so that's about it. Um, let's see here, what do we what do we got here? Sup, sup, sup demo. Um, Mr. Panda asks, why don't you use the A10 adapter and put a DHD tip on the Twisted Messes 24 Pro? Well, if you check, if you look at my Instagram, you'll see that I have done that. Um, I actually have done that before. I'm, I, I test, I try, I try to test all of the ways you can do it, right? So I've tested it with the stock drip tip. I've tested it with this red drip tip. I've tested it with an 810 drip tip and with a DHD nub tip, and they all work. Everything works. The O rings are a little bit weird on some of them, but it all works. So um, plus, I actually, so the, I'm weird. I like to look through the top of my RDA to see how my wicks are doing in terms of like juice. And with the DHD caps on it, the inner diameter is a little too narrow to do that. So I oftentimes will not use a DHD because of that. But that's, I do like the way they look. Um, O-rings always very little, but I have to switch them. Hi from Hawaii, Kevin K. What's up? Aloha, I should say. Um, let's see here, figuring that too. How much was it crazy cook? Love the flux. Love the flux. I've had it six months. Daily banger. Love the look of it. The hidden airflow. Yeah, dude. It's so good. The threads, dude. Oh, my God. The threads are... Let me close off my airflow real quick here. Um, these threads up top here are just, like, the nicest threads. You can just, like... You can just kind of... It's just, like, the, they just are so smooth. It's such a smooth thing. I, 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 I love products that are well-made. And this is a very well-made product. Um... Question demo, is the tolerance different on the other color? Um, no, no. I have a blue one, I have a black one, and I gave my gold one to James Franklin, and all all three of the ones that I received, all the same. Bad, bad O-ring tolerances all around. So um, definitely, uh, yeah, no. I mean, I, I, I have problems with them all around. So I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that some people are receiving some that are not a problem, but the ones at ECC anyway were are all loose. So nice matchy matchy setup there, Demo. Yeah, dude, I try to I try to always keep the matchy matchy. Um, I don't have a whole lot of new stuff going right now because I kind of got into one of those things that like Grim Green talks about this from time to time, where you get, you know, every now and again you kind of just get overwhelmed with all of the products that are coming out. 
and I kind of was, I had a moment where I was like, what, what, do, what do I even have to review right now? So I had to like go and take stock of all the stuff that I have in my queue to review. And I wanted to kind of break down everything, set up some setups that I really like. And that's what I've done. And that's what I've got going right now. So yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I might gloom. Okay, sorry. I'm getting. I'm. I'm getting. Getting behind here on this chat. Let's see here. Double mirror mono. Um. Let's see here. Why might gloom? Which of those going to kill? Bar on three eighty. Whoa. Um. Kayla. Kayla. What's up, Kayla? Welcome. I don't think I've seen you on here before, but welcome. 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 Call Mr. Kent. I might do that. I might actually do that, Mike. I might I might call up the number on Twisted Mess's website. Uh, I don't know if you knew this, but when you call the number that's on Twisted Mess's website, that is Kent's phone number. He answers. So, you know, don't abuse that. But that is that is who that is. So, um, did you guys really like the rounds E Juice, or were you just being nice? I actually like some of the rounds E Liquid. I don't like all of it, but you know, it's rare for me to it's rare for me to like an entire line of E Liquid. That's pretty rare. Um, but uh, yeah, I actually do. I actually do enjoy it. I, uh, one of my friends is good friends with a guy that works for rounds, and so I always kind of take take a stop by there. Um, let's see. I do mouth to lung. Oh yes, I do. Parlex, trust me. Got the fix here. My my beat up fix. I've got like it's all silver on the back here. Um, silver all along the bottom. Um, then I've got the stig. Uh, this is cool. If you guys didn't watch the last vape shoot vape shoe if you guys didn't want watch the last vape stew go check it out um stig is a disposable pod system completely disposable it's uh 60 milligrams nicotine salts and when you get it you just pull it out of the package start vaping it when the battery goes dead you're done that's that's how it works they're not out for a little bit so i've been sort of conserving mine just a bit but it's good for quote it's good for like 200 puffs is what they say but it's nice cuz then if you're if you're worried you're going to lose this or if you're you know like if you're bringing it to a place where it could break or you could lose it whatever say let's just say you lose one you just pull another one out it's not like losing your $35 fix or whatever um okay uh let's see here uh have I squonked with the tweet TM24 Pro no i have not squonked with the TM24 Pro but I know Kent even said that he designed it as a dripper. And so as such, I don't feel like it's actually going to be an amazing squonker. I'm sure it'll be fine, but it's probably just going to be like the goon or something where you just fill up the deck with juice and then that's that. So I, I don't I don't see that being a, an incredibly great squonker. It's probably won't, it's not going to be terrible either, but that's just kind of what I'm what I'm thinking. So we we 0609, what's up, man? Um Let's see here. Am I getting the own boy OC squonker? I certainly hope so. If uh, if I don't get it sent to me, I will be buying that one for sure. A um, little new to my channel. What's up, demo? Oh my god, the demo, the demo! It will not. It will not. Uh, it won't stop. It's just. Uh, it's gonna. That that train's gonna keep going forever. Well, thank you for thank you for your subscription, Kayla. I really appreciate it. What was the juice that Joel held up in the last live that you like? Ooh, I don't remember. I don't honestly remember. Um, that was a minute ago, and I think I was doing something else at the time that he was showing that. See, with the live streams, oftentimes when someone else is talking, I will look in chat and, like, you know, I try to, obviously we're interacting and stuff like that, but I try to kind of keep up with chat and keep up with the stream and stuff. I miss some things sometimes. I don't remember exactly. I'll go back and check it out, though. Um, love my jewel. Nice TC, but a lot of it. Vape shoe, um, right? My on the me pod hype train. I do like the me pod. It's not my favorite vape. It doesn't. It doesn't go with me everywhere. Um, I do like the me pod. I like being able to put it around my neck. Let me tell you where where I use the me pod most. I use the me pod most when I'm at a vape show, and that's because it's right here on my neck. And I'm usually carrying around a backpack and another backpack, and I've got a camera, and I'm like loaded down with stuff. I don't want to like. You know, I don't want to be, um, you know, like that kind of, you know, I, I'm, I'm super loaded down, right? So it's just nice to be able to hit that. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see here. 
do with Serbia country. Uh, Demo, I'm surprised you haven't picked up a Svoy Mesto Prime. I do have a Svoy Mesto K Fun Prime. Oh, I do. Don't worry. I do. I was, I was thinking about doing like a mouth to lung tank shootout. Um, a lot of the products are kind of past their review prime. But if you guys want to see me do an MTL kind of tank shootout, uh, let me know. I'll, 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 you know. By the way, guys, let me just type something here real quick. I did, I did buy that blueberry granola. Yes, I thought it was good. Um, that is my email. Go ahead and shoot me an email for a shout out. Or well, so I haven't started doing vlogs yet, but I will in the future. Um, but shoot me emails if you have questions. I do respond to. I try to respond to every comment and every email that I get uh, if they warrant a response. Um, you know, go ahead and shoot me an email there if you want. Um, even if it's just to say hi. I'm fine with that too. Um, anyway, Dehedro says, I'm not okay with the disposable pods. It is bad for the environment. And yes, you are right. And I actually brought that up on the last vape, vape stew. I said, the only thing I don't like about this is that it's it's got a battery in it. And that's a problem, right? Even if it's lithium ion and like it's not as bad for the environment as like an alkaline battery or whatever. I, I don't know how any of that works. Either way, there's a big thing on the bottom here that says, do not throw away. What the, what the hell are we supposed to do with it? Like, can we bring these to battery recycling places? And I mean, I know I would do something like that, but most people, you, you got to, come on, man, everybody's going to throw this in the garbage can. Like that's, that's exactly what's going to happen. So it's not good for the, the environment. No, I agree with you, but um, it is what it is. So it's a product that's out and I know it will help some people quit smoking. So I don't know. Um, let's see here. Uh, NV lost Loch Ness. Uh, I have one and it has the worst firing delay that I've ever used. And there's a firmware update that fixes it. And I can't put it on the mod. Like I I've tried everything, man. I've tried different cables. I've tried different, uh, I've tried everything. I, the, the mod firmware will not load on my computer. I've tried other computers and it won't load for those either. So I just am stuck with a mod that has a, like a half a second firing delay. And that's like, it's literally like click, like that's how it goes. Like it's too, it's, it's unacceptable. So um, for me, I've just got this Loch Ness. It's sitting right behind me actually. And it's just a mod that I hope someday I might be able to use when they get their shit together about the firmware. So that's kind of how I feel about that. Um Oh no, it's and it's okay, by the way, if somebody accidentally calls me demo, it's like an inside joke now. Um okay, let's see here. I need an in and out burger animal. Oh, dude. Fuck. I would so want that. Um thanks, Parlex. I really appreciate it. I really do. Um I feel like I have most things kind of pretty decent for YouTube, it's just the co content. I got to get more content out. And that's just a, that's just a life thing. Um, Mr. Panda, can't wait for the perp DV TV hex, dude. I'm going to get one all day. Um, let's see. Last week's after show was awesome, dude. Last week's after show was boss, dude. It was so awesome. It was so much fun. Um, I really enjoyed it. That was, that was a really, really good time. Um, be careful with the Loch Ness and a dripper taking the top off and on. Um, are you talking about the removable 510 plate? Because I have had that happen where I've like unscrewed the removable 510 a little bit. And then my mod, my Addy wouldn't like connect very well. You just have to screw that back down. Um, let's see here. I like the peanut butter banana Yogi. Oh, dude, I, I, the peanut butter banana was pretty good. The honey one, I, honeys are weird for me. I don't, li I don't like many honey vapes. They, they just kind of... Have sort of a dirty socks kind of kind of taste. Um, careful with the Loch Ness dripper. <clears throat> Taking the top and on. Okay. Um, Best Buy. See if Best Buy would take it. <laughs> um, and if I miss any of your guys' questions, go ahead and feel free to shoot them down again. But I am trying to get through them all. Um, let's see here. Cows peanut butter. Catch the last vape stew. Didn't catch that. What didn't What didn't you catch? Dehydro. Soft mode. <laughs> this is not salves, guys. Lovely ju lovely jubbly TC. I have no idea. What's my day job? Um, okay. I'm just I'm just waiting because there's just gonna be so many questions after I say. Uh I am a currencies trader. 
I trade currencies. Um, I do not work for anybody. I work for myself and I trade on the open market with a broker and that is my job. I don't, I don't trade cryptocurrencies. So just, I'll go ahead and head that one off right away. Everyone always asks me right away. Do you trade cryptos? No, I don't. It's there. I make good money doing what I do and I don't need to add cryptos in there to add a degree of risk that I don't need. You know, I know everybody can make a fuckload of money with cryptos. I, 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 eh. Um, yes, more content. Love your builds. Thanks, Remoth. Appreciate it. Let's see, Kayla says you rock, Demo. Thanks, Kayla. Appreciate it. Try. I do my best. Have I built any coils lately? Yes. Oh, yes. I build coils all the time. In fact, I actually was building uh, not last night, but the night before. I built four or five sets of coils. So, um. I try to I try to try to build at least a few times a week because it's 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 just relaxing for me if nothing else. Uh, I can't believe that Jay got on, dude. Oh man, dude, that was really cool. I, I I also couldn't believe that Jay got on. There was just enough. I think there was just enough people that were like, "Dude, come on!" And he was like, "Oh, okay, fine, whatever." Um, it was cool. Jay's a cool dude. Um, did you let Stan drive your car? No, no. My insurance only re- my insurance only covers me. Um, I like honey vape savings, Philip Rock, Grand Reserve, honey cream. See, <laughs> yeah, honey vapes sometimes smell smell like a mixture between cat pee and dirty socks to me. So there's that. Um never seen a JS outside the shop before I scored a first. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's in his black house. This house was just like dark, you know, like he was like, I'm at my house. You can't, you're not showing any, any of you guys, anything Ooh, a little dog hair floating. Uh, Mr. Panda directing donkeys gets you a Ferrari. Oh my God. I don't even know what the hell's going on. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Thinking of picking up my first mech mod, the dreamer looks fantastico. Would I recommend the black over the copper to a first timer? Oh, hell yeah. Dude, unless you want to be cleaning your copper mech like every 20 seconds. Uh, yeah, you definitely should get the black. But the but the Dreamer is a great way to go for your first mech. Hits nice and hard. It's not super expensive. If you don't like mech mods, you're not going to be out a stupid amount of money. <coughs> um, the Dreamer looks fantastico. Okay, sorry. Uh, Demo, are you, says Tony. Did I miss something? I don't understand your question, Tony. I, if I miss something, just go ahead and put it down, um, down below. You turn pounds to dollars. That is one thing I do. I also turn dollars to pounds, and I turn yen to pounds, and yen to dollars, and euros to dollars, and euros to yen, and I can just go on and on. No one drives the car. LOL insurance. I don't trust you. Yeah, no, I mean, so you know, to dollars and euros to yen, and it just go on and on. Oh, we've got an echo, Nick. <laughs> <clears throat> we have a Nick Bassett Daily Vape TV. Hello. How's everyone doing tonight? Pretty well. <laughs> um, let's see here. I'm going to address this real quick. James Robert, Demo, I'm using a .12 build in the Dead Rabbit sitting on top of the Dreamer. VTC 5A is safe, right? Technically not. That's technically too low for a VTC 5A. Now, what, are you going to blow yourself up? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. You know, it's uh, no. Uh, I don't. I don't believe that that's a safe build. I think 0.14 is the lowest you can go on a on a VTC 5A. So, oh. VTC 5A is a, a 30 amp. It's a 25, according to to Mooch, actually. Well, 25, 30. Oh. No. It's close. it's close enough. Battery. Look, I, I look. I've built I've built like a .08 on a single tube before, and I'm not suggesting that. Um, but uh, you know, it's do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, yeah. Just just don't do that. Uh, TC Vapes says I wouldn't suggest a hybrid for a first mech. Um, uh, well, eh, it depends. You know, what's a good mech for cheap that's decent is uh, not to you know undermine Stan at all, but the Machina the X Machina. It's not a hybrid. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, and, and a broadside is always a good choice as well, too, especially if you're getting the 18650 or the 2700. If you use an 18650, you get that sleeve, and then it's very, very safe. Um, you know, like obviously any mech mod can be unsafe, right? But um, broadside is very safe. X Machina, 
Um, you know, if you understand why a hybrid is dangerous, then I think you can go ahead and use a hybrid. I don't think there's any problem with that, but I like you, that, know, actually. you just you gotta be careful. You're doing something wrong. Yeah, if, if you understand why one would not want to use a hybrid, then if you don't understand that, then don't then don't get a hybrid. <laughs> Nick just said 8 p.m. Where's Nick? Oh, but right that's here. hi. Oh, that's before you came on. Oh. Um. Yeah. Mech safety very important. Yes, yeah. smash the like button. The hydro. Have a good night, bud. Boy. Sorry. Boy. <laughs> you better thank Matt so hard for oh, that. Oh, I do. You're buy I him do. something nice. I'm I'm building him like five sets of coils for it. Five sets of coils. That's what you think boy is worth. Dude, boy. That's like that's like at least a hundred dollars in coils retail for me. Hundred dollars. That's what you think. That's what you think boy is worth. I think boy is a million dollar thing right there. Like that's a lot of sets of coils, man. <laughs> catchphrase, man. I would kill to have a catchphrase. Mine's vape on. <laughs> Dude, I mean, boy just came out of the ether. Like it was yeah. like it just like happened. That's the best part about it though. It's, uh, it's organic. Yeah, right. James Robert says, thanks, Demo. I, I do have a 30 amp 21700. Should I be using that instead? Make sure your 21700 is actually 30 amps, right? Because a lot of 21700s over exaggerate their ratings. Go check out Mooch's ratings. Oh, How sexy God. is that? Dude, it's so sexy. It's a great setup. Um, Mike K says, can I do it? Or you got you to have school in. Um, Okay, how do you make money? Oh, oh, you're oh, that's a follow-up to your question. Okay. Um no, so it's 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 based on simple uh you know, you put money in and then it inflates and then you pull your money out, right? Like it's it's like the stock market. Um anyone can do it, but I would highly recommend you get some education before that because it's very risky uh trading currencies. So I really I try to like not Whenever I start talking about my day job, it always derails. And I'm not, I'm not saying, no, I'm not directing this at anybody. But I, whenever I talk about my day job, it always derails the stream. Like it's like everyone's like immediately like, well, how can I do that? Do you trade cr cryptos? Like, what do you, what do you do? Like, tell me, tell me everything about your day job. And it's like I, I, I come on here to avoid my day job. Like, <laughs> I'm my still at my day job technically. This oh, is that's right. This is the shop slash office. But this is my sanctuary, though. I mean, I got all my stuff here, and all my yeah. pretty things. I got my Lego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Lego. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. how. That's it's technically it's Lego. It's not Legos. Yeah, right. This is true. You're right. Um. Uh. Oh, N Mr. Panda says, Nick, do we get a sneak peek of Fresh Build Friday? <laughs> It's going to be another vape school episode two. This time we're going to be cleaning up our coils and troubleshooting hot spots and other stuff to look out for. Cool, cool, cool. But that that first one really took off. I was uh, pretty happy about that. I had just gotten to uh, California and the video released at noon Eastern Standard Time. So it was, I landed at noon. West Coast time, so the video had already been out for three hours when I landed in uh, in at LAX, and I looked at the numbers, and it was already like you know several hundred views. I was like, oh wow, holy crap, people actually like this, and it was like ten comments or something already. Yeah, man, definitely. What's Nick's channel's called? Oh, Kayla. Oh, Nick, go ahead and pump pop your link in. Go for it. Pump my link in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Poop your link down in chat. <laughs> See, I got you going with that on your stream. No, I know. Nick kept putting poop emojis on my live stream. <laughs> just earlier. popped it. I was like, hot ah, poop. <laughs> Lol. <God damn> <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, go subscribe to, to Nick. Highly recommended. Um, let's see here, Chris. What mod am I vaping? I am vaping on the anarchist tech zone inside. I've got a lovely, oop, oop, oop. I've got a, a little signature here. 
<laughs> hey, I got hey, I got this before I was a YouTuber. I got this when I was at VCC Tampa, and I was like, oh my god, like all these people are here. Now you're a so. YouTuber with over a thousand subs, so you're well on your way, dude. It's crazy, man. It's crazy to think that, that wasn't even a year ago. Um, so yeah, so I'm rocking this. I've got the original OG recoil up top and a 0.21. You guys, you guys can't see that. Uh, 0.21 fuse Clapton uh, set up in there, 27 gauge nichrome. Good time. What are you vaping on, man? Um, stuff I've been rocking for quite some time, actually. Uh, let's see. First setup. Well, I mean, this is kind of newish. Uh, Ravage 230 Wismec, because I just did the review <laughs> with the Cali on top of there. QP Cali. This is freaking awesome. F minor flaw in the design, which we'll talk. Well, if you want to talk about, we can talk about. Yeah, yeah. Let's um, let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about everything. This one, I just started charging the batteries for the Diamond uh, iJoy with the Twist Messes 24 Pro. DHD color changing tip on top of there. And I've got the Dreamer mech with the uh, Recoil Rebel dock tip. Love it. And I've got the Inakin Zenith or Zenith and the Cool Fire Ultra 150 TC. Or not TC, 150. Whatever, whatever this one's called, not TC. This one doesn't have temp oh, Does it? It does have temp control. Yes, that's right. Holy crap. What doesn't have temp control these days, really? Well, yeah. I just forgot that this one actually does have temp control because they've been doing a few mods lately that don't have temp control. So, yes, this one does have temp control, although I never use it. I literally use this mod with a uh, like positive ohm coil, whatever you want to call it. What, do you, what would you call a positive ohm coil? One plus ohm coil? Uh, technically, that would be considered low resistance, right? Well, either way, uh, it's mouth to lung. I use this thing for my mouth to lung rig, and the battery lasts me like weeks at 30 right, right. watts. Because it's got built in 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Are you using the uh, 1.6 ohm coil? Oh, yeah. It's great. Dude, I, I use the 0.8 or the 0.7 or whatever that is, dude. Oh, it's so good. Honestly, it's a really good setup. The flavor is really good on it. Just a few little quirky things about it. And Demi actually messaged me like a couple hours after my video released of, of the uh, Zenith today. Zenith. Yeah. And uh, he's like, dude, why is yours leaking when you like take the coil out? It shouldn't leak. And personally, I don't know. I, I have no idea. He's well, like, he designed it not to leak. Right. So I, I watched your video and there was one thing you missed, which uh, I'm not trying to like call you out here, but uh -huh. the, uh, the, when you open the juice flow, that whole inside rotates and it closes off the ports. Right. And so there's like a little silicone gasket in there and it's supposed, it's supposed to completely close off the ports. And that's the, uh, that's their leak proofing. But I've, I still get a little bit of flooding every time I, juice up my coils so or I, every time i like add to the tank uh but well okay so regardless i mean i i fully open it and fully close it every time i don't just right, like, right. Open or anything right well it's when i tip it upside down and i like actually take the coil out of it that's what oh I, right what, for some reason i take the coil out and just <laughs> it just leaks everywhere out the tip that's weird yeah, yeah that's that's yeah. strange that shouldn't be happening yeah, I'm thinking it was that just that first coil because this particular coil is doing just fine, and I will be doing a follow up on my vlog. Yep. So, eh, I think it was just a quirky little first coil thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess what I said didn't relate to that then, but yeah, no, it's. Uh, well, I did miss that fact, but I mean, oh whatever. I just kind of go by what I experience for my pros and right. cons. I'm not going to say, oh, well, it takes two 21700 batteries or, you know, whatever. Right, you know, right, 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 right. Any particular device. I'm just going with the best things about every device that I review is like, okay, that's my pro, you know? Right, right. And the cons are the things you. that I experience. Yeah, no, I, I totally feel you. Um, I was going to say, we're, we're human. We miss shit sometimes. It's fine. Well, um, yeah. Right. Um, let's see here. Brian Etris, what's up? 
What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome, everyone. I know we've been streaming here for a little bit, but just would like to say welcome to all of the people who uh, who just joined and who are watching. Um, let's see here. What do we got in chat here? Oh, so, uh, so Kayla, Kayla was was like a color changing drip tip. What? Yes. Yeah. Color, cha color changing drip tips are awesome. They're uh, sweet. I've got a couple of them. Where's my other one? I have a couple too. They're they're pretty pretty damn legit. My uh, phobia has got the green. This is like a dark green tealish, and it goes to a bright like neon green when it gets warm. That's pretty cool. Let's see here. Vapor Sw Vapor Swagon says, "Love you, Demo. I love you too, Vapor Swagons. All the love." Let's see here. Uh, Brian and James. Is... I, kind of press I want to change my camera angle to this view. Right. So it's a little bit low. Well, this is my uh, C nine thirty webcam on my MacBook. Yeah. But I like the the low because you can get like boom in there. Yeah, I do like though that with your regular setup that you, I like the way that your wall looks better in your regular setup. Yeah, it looks more professional. Not seeing what's up here, the little screws that I put my uh, Christmas lights. I attach my <laughs> Christmas lights to. Yeah, I see that. I'm, I'm thinking about putting a shelf up here though, and putting all my mods because my mods are just a big jumbled mess. Dude, whoa! I feel like your shelf just keeps getting bigger. It does. I have to. I mean. It just gets just, just yeah yeah there you go See, I've got, like all these cubbies down here oh my god yeah that's crazy the full tour of the the the, the daily video you guys don't want a tour of my studio it would be embarrassing um <laughs> there's just like empty soda cans and it's just dude this is like my my den man there's like empty cans there's glasses i have a huge pile of shit over there like it's literally it's, uh, i mean no not really but you know it's a <laughs> pile of pile of stuff um let's see here uh demo where's my wrench bruh sorry brian R wrenches are for are for people who are on the stream no offense i would give you all wrenches if i could but then it would be crazy oh god that just link central <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> be like ah that's see your ball sonic it's the ultimate compliment though like when you start getting like the the troll posts and stuff like those uh little like whatever they were advertising some really weird stuff it was like how to cook chicken and i was like what click the link i'm like no i'm not gonna no, do that no man it's just gonna fish me yeah i love it but we were kept deleting them and yeah it was fun good times oh well, james franklin's asking you a question there in chat uh, i responded oh you did oh okay oh okay 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 uh let's see here i, I I'm, I'm a little bit further up uh, so the Loch Ness, right? I have a Loch Ness and it's a problem. Like I have a problem with it. Like I'll elaborate here in a second, but let me just, uh, okay. Okay, cool. Let me, uh, let me you talk for a second. I'm going to go grab my Loch Ness. It's like right behind me. Okay. What should we talk about? Wait, wait I didn't even read the name of this stream yet. Surprise random demo stream vape broth. There we go. There it is. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I, I, I recognize 99% of you guys from either my channel or the Savs show or, you know, various other social media platforms. Uh, oh, yeah. People asking about uh, the color changing tips. Yeah. You can just go to double or DHD accessories.com, I believe is her website. Um, yeah. She's got some really good stuff on there. And FYI, for those of you that don't know, the TM24 doesn't natively take the uh, uh, 810 tips. This is the adapter in there. The actual tip itself is a little bit wider. Ah, uh, vaping with Vic. We got vaping oh, with Vic. Oh, now you're calling me a cam whore, Vic. Oh, please. Over there, it's like 3 in the morning. I'm at 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it's 319 in the morning. And Vic, you want to come on the stream? <laughs> God, <laughs> let's just make it a party again, right? Let's have vape parties, man. That's that's what I should do with my channel. Just have vape parties. Um, okay, I have my Loch Ness here, right? I love everything about it. I love the way it works. I love I love it, right? 
here's what I don't love about it. I'll show you once I put this atomizer up top of here and put some batteries in here. And everyone's going to go, firmware, Demo, you can upgrade the firmware. Sure. I cannot upgrade the firmware. I have tried. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't understand why I can't, but I have not been able to upgrade the firmware. I've tried on multiple different computers. I, I messaged Envy, and I was like, hey, can you guys help me? And they were like, no. You know, like, they, I mean, they, like, tried, but it was, you know, I was speaking with a Chinese guy, I'm sure, and it was just difficult. Um, That's racist. Okay. What, I'm sorry? That's racist. No, no, it's not. It's just that I, we couldn't understand each other. I'm messing with you. I literally got an email from someone who called themselves funny. Okay. So it's funny. This is at 100 watts, right? Let me present myself real quick. Bye. Okay. This is at 100 watts. Ready? That's quite a delay. You know, like it's got a pretty mean firing delay. And that's like a, a it's got a it's that's a higher wattage than I would ever use on this. You know, like this is an atomizer that really needs like 70 watts. And that's at 70 watts. It's uh it's and it's not the ramp up of the coils, it's it's definitely the actual mod. And I don't understand what I can do about it. It's like iJoy level of uh, delay there. I mean, it's it, it, so they released a firmware update, right? They released a firmware update that said, oh, we fixed that problem, right? But I downloaded the firmware on my computer and I can't even turn on the firmware. Like it literally doesn't like load on my computer at all. So it doesn't matter if I can, like if I, I, I've connected the mod to my computer. I've tried different data cables. I've tried longer ones, shorter ones. Like I've tried everything and I can't get it to work. And I've, I've talked to, I've talked to, uh, you know, Envy and they seem to not know what the problem is. And I don't, I don't know. So I just have this mod that I don't use that I would love to use because it's just so comfortable. And it's just such, such a great button too. But that's so, just the way it works. I've had a couple. We we sold those at the shop for a little while, and they're they look gorgeous. They have that nice like kind of rubberized feel to them. I sold two two mods to one customer for him and his wife, and two Cleto one twenties, and they just took them home and used them for a few months, and they came back about probably six months later, and that those mods were absolutely destroyed. Both of them, the coating was falling off. One of them, the 510 connection actually ripped out of it. And they're like, we're not even really rough on our devices. Like, you know, I'm trying to, you know, be as brutally honest as I can. We've may maybe I've dropped them a couple of times each, but this is like unacceptable for a mod that costs as much as it does. It's it, expensive. It just was destroyed. I'm like, holy hell, it looks like this thing went to Afghanistan and came back. Like, damn, <laughs> it was beat the hell up. So. I don't know what it is about, you know, their build quality or just their, I don't know, something. Well, but. and it doesn't feel high quality. Like, it's like, if you don't have batteries in it, it's really light. Like, it's not, it doesn't feel very high quality, but it's just, it's just, it's nice. I like it. Um, but I mean, if I go to my hex, you know, that's, it's, you know, immediate. So. About a yeah. quarter second, I'd say is acceptable. And well, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with like a quarter second, but like like a DNA 200, a DNA 250 is like the slowest ramp up that I'm okay with because the DNA 250 is actually pretty slow. Yeah, about quarter, maybe maybe closer to a half a second, but not. That's bad. okay. Not a big deal. Like the Vo Vupu really has the, the shit on lockdown. You know, like they've they've got the best firing delay. Yeah, they say it's what point twenty five twenty five milliseconds. Yeah, or fifty milliseconds. So it's something really really fast. Ooh, I cooked my coils a little bit there. So. My problem, my 
real one and only problem right now with this uh, Cali is yeah. that if you're doing wide coils, they're gonna you have to bend your lead. Uh, yeah, that's a seven wrap, and it's I'm already kind of having to bend them in. Right. I have a question for you while you're here and while you're in your in your studio. You said you put my my frame staples into something, but I feel like I still see them in the background over there. What are those? Empty oh, jar. It's an empty jar. Okay, never mind then. I believe I, you. I will give you back that empty jar one of these days. No, you don't have to. It's fine. <laughs> they're, they're insanely cheap for like a huge box of them. They're really not expensive. Oh, I know. I've looked them up. <laughs> It's not. It's not too bad. Like baggies would be better in terms of cost, but the, the presentation of those things is better. Oh no! Oh, Get you it mean, away from me. The fidgeter. Uh, they, uh, who was it in chat? Said they can't stand it aesthetically. Brian Etris. Yeah. Uh, 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 it was fiddly, wonky feeling, icky. Sounds sound. cheap. Sounds cheap, feels cheap, sharp corners. Like these things are razor freaking sharp. Like I could cut myself with one of these things. Nah. Yeah. Nah. 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 It does not appeal to me. Yeah. I, I, I saw that and I was like, well, that's a mod that I'm not even going to bother reviewing or getting. Like, forget it. I'm not going to spend my money on that. It's funny because they sent it to me to review the tank, but they sent me the kit. So I'm like, oh, excellent. <laughs> Demo Vapes got my DS today. Awesome. Dude, awesome. The, the DS, man. I know that I know people like to hate on it, but it's a uh, it's a good mod. It's got a nice stiff bottle on it, but you know it's a good mod. Everyone likes a good stiff bottle. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, <laughs> what the one of the best parts of my travel vlog, in my opinion, was uh, at dinner. When I was like, oh, Demo's hungry. And you're like, hungry, hungry, Demo. Yeah. <laughs> when I watched that. <laughs> hungry, <laughs> hungry, Demo. It's those random times when you just like do something weird. You're like, <laughs> yeah. the camera, I'm just like, what the hell? Yeah, man. Oh. Um, no, we are, we're, we're not beering tonight. At least I don't have a beer here. I don't know about Nick, but. I wish. Um, some empties over here. Yeah, so I'm I'm still like on the tail end of having the flu, so um, there is no beer, no beer for me tonight. It's gonna I be, uh... have something extra extra special for this week's vlog, though. I'm pretty excited Ooh, about it. Do you? It's one of those really rare, super limited edition beers that no one can get except for people that live within 20 minutes of this brewery. Ah. Uh. Ah, I see. Those of you that are friends with me on Untapped, you'll be seeing it early, so pay attention. I might have to do that. I, I, I'm not even on Untapped, dude. I'm not like I say it so often, but I swear to God, I am not sponsored or endorsed by Untapped at all. I just like having my friends seeing what I drink, and vice versa. You know. Yeah. So I'll add everyone that wants to add me on Untapped, uh, and for those of you that are not familiar, it's, it's an app. On it, yeah, all you beer. Well, my my username is Vaping Beer Geek. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, for all of you guys that don't know, it's an app on Android or App Store, and uh, you can just look up the beer that you drink and remember it. You can rate it. You can describe it. You can say whether it's on tap or in a keg or whatever out of a freaking chalice. I don't know, <laughs> but right. uh, it's good stuff. A goblet. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Brian Etris asks, Daily Vape and Demo, you guys ever use Tesla WYE 200 or 85? Nope. I have not used anything from Tesla. I have not, but I just got this one in. Uh, this is from, oh, God. Uh, come on, VaporGate. Leaking? I don't, vapor, I don't blame VaporGate for the leaking factor. I got it on my shoes. Ah! Here. No, the dually, it, it's a great tank, but it's these freaking smoke coils that are... Uh, you fucked yeah. up. You fucked up. I got it on my shoes, man. Um, but I got this mod. I forget who makes it, to be honest with you, at this point in time. Uh, hold on. Um, okay, while you're doing that, let's see here. Uh, damn, everybody from ECC got sick. Yes, I got sick. I don't think Nick got sick. I did I not. Uh, I somehow, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I usually don't get sick. I usually am the one that doesn't. Um, Nick gets sick every time. Yeah, yeah. Typhoid Mary, 
like yeah. con SARS, you know. Um, let's see here. Demo can't wait for your Cali vlog. Post it, man. Dude, as soon as I'm done with this, it's back to editing. And then the next thing you see for me is going to be that. So what is that? What do you got there? It's uh, made by a company called Sanso. And it's Sanso. QIU 200. So this QIU is IU 200. It, it's straight up ripoff of the YU or whatever from. Uh, oh my God. Yeah. From, but like, look, just by looking at it, you can tell. I mean, same shape, same back door, same button layout, same chip layout. Why do these companies have just have to do this? Like, why do they all have to do the same thing? Like, like it's just like, why can't they not do their own thing? Like, and it's very plasticky, very injection moldedy. Yeah, it's, it looks like a rock, doesn't it? Look like a stone, like. It, yeah, if I if I didn't know that it was plastic. Yeah, no, it feels very very plasticky. I don't want my mod to look like it's made out of stone. I want to like, make a mod out of stone. Like, can you imagine that for just a second? Like a carved mod out of stone. Like oh, it would be, it would be the heaviest thing. You'd just be like, "Hey, let me take a vape." <laughs> you know, <laughs> rock solid. But um, that's what you could call it the vapor rock. All right, present present yourself real quick. I have to like wash my hands. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, no problem. Um. Okay. So um. Yes. Oh, Brian, Brian, you're talking about the, the Sherlock Holmes incident with the CBD gummies. Yes, yeah, CBD is not supposed to have THC in it, but they apparently got super stoned. And I remember seeing them that first day and they looked real weird. Like it was like something was wrong. You know what I mean? Like I could tell I was like, I wonder if like Sherlock is not feeling very well. You know what I mean? Like I, I thought like maybe they were getting sick or something like that, but they, they looked, there was a problem. Right. And then after they said that they had gotten dosed and they, they were, had some sort of CBD THC gummies, I all of a sudden was like, Oh yeah, no, you guys just looked like you were high. Like, you know, like that, that makes sense. That's a problem, man. That's, that's a bummer here. Okay. So you're, you're, you're ready. Let me un, unpresent myself. Um, I, I I'm not a huge fan of that. Like that's not supposed to happen. You know, I'm not supposed to be getting people high with your gummy bears at a vape show, you know, at least unknowingly. Right. Like if you want to get high, go get high. I don't care. But like, it's, you know, if you're, you know, if you're trying not to get high, if you're sober or if you're, you know, if you have an adverse reaction, maybe you're allergic to it. That happens. Um, yeah, it's a problem. Some like people it. don't like to get high. Right, right, right. For th the stoners may not understand, but some people don't like to get high. Uh, someone now. About. Now, they just added sleep apnea to the medical list for Minnesota, which is awesome because I have sleep apnea. <laughs> <laughs> How does that help? I have no idea. <laughs> Question. I'm not I don't even know, man. It's uh everyone is just like um uh, let's see here. Ashtrays remembered says that's a felony, isn't it? Might be. Probably. I don't know. Like like drugging somebody without them knowing. I would say that's that's probably a felony. Um you know. Right. So average Joe, I get that. Like I know that some CBD is made from hemp, right? And some CBD is made from marijuana, which has THC in it. But if you're at a vapor convention, you're selling gummy bears, and if it's not made from hemp and if it's made from marijuana and has THC in it, that should absolutely, absolutely be something that you mention. <laughs> you might just want to tell people about that, you know? Like, I don't know. It's my opinion. I mean, if it's someone that normally smokes pot on a regular and they walk up to your booth and be like, yo, man, what's up? You want a little quick thing of this, little gummy bear? And yeah course but someone that is not expecting it i mean that's the worst dude imagine if someone freaking jams a freaking needle into your neck and squeezes a plunger and like have fun <laughs> <laughs> enjoy your heroin <laughs> you know, it's like like come on you know like i mean obviously we're talking about completely different things in terms of like body damage and all that kind of stuff but like still it's it's that's that's drug rape you know like so to, so to speak you know like like come on that's amazing 
Hashtag drug rape. <laughs> drug rape. I was raped by drugs. That's so messed up. Yeah, I, I I don't like to use the word rape casually, but that is kind of what it is. So, <laughs> except if you're playing, you know, video games. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I raped that guy. Spawn raping. Just sounds wrong, dude. It's uh, it's, the amount of things that people say when you're gaming, man. Like, I am a very kind, normal, nice guy, right? But when I'm on Xbox Live playing Battlefront. I say things, things come out of my mouth that scare me. Sometimes I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> just apologize after you're like, I'm so sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. God damn it! You know, it's like, it's, it's, that's, that's me when I'm playing Battlefront. Right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You have to like go to church after you're like, man. <laughs> yeah. Dude, uh, have you tried Krispies from Sickwoods? Yeah, dude. Dude, it's good stuff. Good stuff. We sell a ton of it. I just noticed that there's an H in there today for the first time. <laughs> yeah, it's because the dude's name is Chris. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, know, I know that. I just didn't. I literally was like looking at it. I was like, why does this, this looks weird? And then I was like, oh. <laughs> Someone asked in chat about icing on the flake, or I believe they're asking about icing on the flake. And it's very good. Uh, it doesn't destroy coils, but, you know, expect about five to seven days on a coil. But, yeah, it's got that, like, corn, like, bottom end of it. Like, that bottom note is corn. Then it's, like, icing. Like, you get a pretty accurate representation of Frosted Flakes with this one. And, yeah, I, I really do like it. Although breakfast cereals are not my favorite flavor profile. <sighs> cereals are weird for me. Because you got to balance it right. Either there's too much corn flavor or too much like cereal flavor and it just kind of like tastes weird. Um, or it'll be too much uh, like sweet fruity flavor and then it won't really taste like cereal, but there's a little bit of cereal in it. So it just tastes weird. Um, but if you nail it, you know, it's uh, it's it's pretty good stuff. Like um, if, you, if you guys have ever tried, um, it's a collaboration between King's Crest and Number 9 e-liquids. They're... Um, what is it? Serial Killer Duchess? Oh my Nine gosh. South. It's South. what? Nine South. That's the other company. Oh, oh, Nine South. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Um, it says it has, there's a nine on it. So I was like, no, I don't know. Whatever. I got, um, I got you, fam. Right. Nine South and um, King's Crest. Go check that out. Oh, dude, it's that, that thing. Yeah. Well, it, I got about. Mm, week and a half, two weeks out of this thing before it completely bricked itself. Oh, and it says just stuck on update? Yep. <sighs> Come on, Segelli. Get your act it's together. Segelli, man. Guys, uh, okay. So here, um, who here is a patron of Grim Green? That's a, that's a question of mine. Who here is a patron of Grim Green and watched the last stream that he did yesterday? Because I watched it. Of course it was. Damn. It was hilarious, dude. It was so funny. Dude. Dude. It was just a Segelli bash fest, man. It was so funny. It was literally Grim Green was opening his package of Segelli stuff and he opened that dual bottle squonk and he goes, What the fuck is this? He's like, he's like, this just feels like crap. The, yeah, that thing. He's like, these like what? the things on the side just feel like crap. And he's like, this just feels like like crap. And then he opens up like the the X Fang Snow Wolf, and then it was like that too, right? Yep. He said he was like like everything feels cheap except the screen looks great, right? Yeah. And and then he opened up the one you just showed, the 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 round one, and he was like, "What?" Like he was just like it was just oh my god, he was just like Segeli, and I I uh, I commented. In there, and I said, I think Segelli might be at an all-time low. Like, they're yeah. they're struggling. They they're out of ideas, dude. Do they need to get in, they need to get re revamp their design team quick? Hold on, wait, wait. I got the best of the best. Hold on, gotta find it. Brian, I believe you can just go and look and see what Grim Green makes on his Patreon. It's it's he keeps his public, so I think you can go see it. Even if you're not a patron, I think you can just go see it. How about that perp setup? Oh God! Look, the box—it's okay. It's passable. The yeah. atomizer, shit. 
Oh yeah, I still have. Remember the atomizer from Brett? He had one of those, and we put that canthal coil in there. Oh, the atomizer. I, I have that. He gave it to me. Nice. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Dude, are you ready? Uh oh. Uh oh. Remember how I was commenting poop earlier? Well, look at this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. I got to present you. Oh, my Lord. Ooh. <laughs> That is. Look at this. All the poop emojis. Go. Dude. Poop emojis in the chat. Go. Look at the color. Even the, this, the camera doesn't even do it real justice. This is. I don't have Nightbot on. Just go ahead and drop them in. <laughs> this is poop brown with ugly chrome sides. It's huge. It's not like anything special. I think it's a twenty seven hundred. Yeah, it's a dual oh, bummer, man. Twenty one seven hundred. The battery door feels like utter garbage. I don't even know if I want to review it to be honest, because I'm just gonna it's gonna be Bash Fest 2018. There's like some sort of go for it, man. Look, these companies need a reality check sometimes, you know. Oh, the chat's rolling in, the poop's coming in. There's just Chinese stuff all over the place. It's like Chinese Chineseum. <laughs> people understand that like we don't want to see this. Like we I mean, personally, I really no, I don't like it. I don't like it. The screen is tiny. Like, what the hell is this? Wait, is that Segeli? Yes. This is the Segeli oh, GW. God, guys, like, wow. Dude, they are out of ideas. They used to be a massive leader in this industry. And now look what they're cranking out. This ugly poop brown mod with chrome on it and a bunch of Chinese lettering and crazy shit all over it. So I got a lot of shit, you know, the other so I got an email from someone who I'm not going to name, but I got I got an email from someone who was kind of getting on me for like only reviewing mods that are kind of expensive and addies that are kind of expensive and stuff. And it's like, look, at the end of the day, a lot of the ones that are a little bit more expensive are worth it because you're it's going to last you, right? So you're going to spend some money, but it's going to last you a long time. You know, like see you later Kayla, thanks for joining. Appreciate it. I know this was your first stream. If you subscribe, Bye. boy, yeah, go check out uh, Vape Stew if you haven't uh, if you haven't uh, been watching Vape Stew every Friday, nine PM Central, Tenacious TX Vapes channel. Go check out that live stream. That's a blast. Um, that's a good time. Um, let's see here. Does Sherlock Holmes have a, a logo? He does. It's like a dude. Well, at least he used to. I think it was it's like a dude smoking a, a pipe. Okay. I don't know. Maybe he changed it. I don't know. Well, have you been to his website? Well, it, um, uh, Stan needs it for something. Find out. Yeah, yeah. He's he's got a little. It's a little ohm symbol with a little uh, Sherlock hat and a pipe sticking out of the Q or sticking out of the Omega. Here I am showing up on your show with my own gear on. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's whatever. Dude, we all we all know that you're X one in chat if Demo needs to make some swag. Dude, it's it's uh it's 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 in the process, man. I've got I've got my uh I've showed this off a few times. Yep. Got my demo vapes vape mats, those are coming. We're working those out right now. Um the t shirts and stuff are being held up, and that's all my fault. Because I've had con SARS. I literally have I literally just didn't do anything for like three days. I just like was like did nothing. Well, I've been teasing uh my patrons with my new sticker designs. I dropped a whole bunch of money on stickers, but you you guys and if anyone of you like guys in chat right now watch my channel, stickers are coming. Stickers. If you want to check them out, you can Become a patron. Even a buck a month gets you access to secret stuff like that. <laughs> Let's see here. Stew broth. When's the sh the the soup show out? Says Ashtray. Remembered. I don't know. I don't know. Vape soup might be uh, might be <laughs> the, the next step up from vape broth. Yeah. Right. Vape soup. Yeah. Vape broth is just plain. Vape uh, soup is like the next level. Then when you get the meat and potatoes and stuff. Vape stew. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure where that actually came from, that name. Like, I think Stan just came up with it. Yeah, I have no idea. I thought his name was Stu at first. I'm like, oh, wait, no, it's Stan. 
Yeah, I was like, vape stew. Are we a stew? Like, what's the, what's, what's the deal? I feel like we're more of a tossed salad than a melting pot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're a tossed salad, D. <laughs> I'll toss your salad. Okay. And on that note, I'm just kidding. On that note, bye, guys. <laughs> Peace out, boy. <laughs> Everyone's talking about vape mats. I, I, have, I don't want to toss anybody's salad. Sorry. I have a giant vape mat here. It's literally four feet by two feet. It's mega. Oh, you've got that pro one. Yeah. Um, he stopped making them. Well, yeah. Well, I heard why. We talked about that last time, I think. And I'm actually out of regular vape mats. I have one pro mat. Okay. So I'm going to tell you guys. I don't think I've told anyone this yet, but I'll tell you guys. I have one Daily Vape TV pro mat that I'm going to do for a giveaway at some point. I just need to know when's a, an appropriate time to give that thing away. <laughs> Must have. Must have a big enough table. Uh, two foot by four foot. Yeah. It's yeah. big. It's a big one. Uh, someone said something about uh, um, cloths. Perhaps like vape rags, vape rags. Oh yeah, yeah. I have mine's at the house. Vape mat, vape rags. I got the little microfibers here. This was just used to clean up a juice spill, as you can see by this little stain right there. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, two regular DVTV mats left. They're just underneath my stuff on my tables, but I might give them away. Yeah, it's essentially just a giant mouse pad. It's great though. You know, it's a soft. Oh, oh, they're good. It doesn't you don't ding, ding up your table by putting your mods on there, and you don't ding up your mods when they fall over on top of it. I actually have tried to build with a vape mat under my build stuff, and I actually prefer building on a hard table because I like being able to like sweep a table with my hand and stuff, like get all the wire off and whatnot. I just fold up the mat and just dump it. Yeah, but see, when you're using like forty-two and forty-six gauge, that doesn't work all the time it likes to stick in the in the fibers oh i know then it stabs me yeah I, oh dude i got a really bad one that's i got stabbed right here the other day by a piece of 30 gauge it was it was not good i i, I clipped the i clipped the wire at an angle and then i was like messing with it and then like it just like went all the way into my finger and i felt it hit my bone and i was like ow see a vapor swaggins Peace out, Vapor Swaggins. Swaggins. <sighs> I got to get going on this video pretty soon. Yeah, I, I do too. Ashtrays, remember, Demo, have you ever gotten wire foot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have. The worst w case of wire foot I ever have had was when I stepped on a piece of 24 gauge. Oh. Yeah. Flip it like at an angle, too. It's like a freaking hypodermic. Uh, yeah, that was pretty much what it was. I was downstairs, and this was like two months after I had stopped building downstairs in my kitchen. And um, I we vacuumed, I don't know how many times, but there was a piece of 24 gauge that had gotten stuck in between the wood of my hardwood floors. And uh, it was pointed straight up like this. And so it was like stuck in between the thing. And I just went boop and just went straight down, probably got about an inch into my foot. 20 piece 24 gauge damn pulling it out was worse pulling it out was worse yeah yep good times best wire for best <laughs> i don't uh, know man <laughs> you're gonna have to be more specific demo i gotta go buddy oh no yeah, i know i'm sorry x1, x1 if you think that daily babe tv nick should not go Dude, I can't. You want a fresh build party? You want a like vape school one hundred and one video tomorrow? I gotta go. I mean, I'm trying to think of a creative solution. <laughs> it's almost ten o'clock here. I, know. I have to record my video, which usually takes over an hour, at least an, over an hour, and then I go home, I edit, and I upload, and everything. Yeah, I know. I see all those X ones. <laughs> I, edit, I upload. I get everything ready for tomorrow, and then. I have to open the shop tomorrow on Fridays. So James goes, oh, okay. And he goes, do you want the video? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I it's been real guys. Uh, hope to catch you on my channel sometime when I do a live stream on my channel. 
<laughs> I'll let you guys know when I'm doing one. But uh, go join my Facebook group, uh, DVTV Cloud Crew on Facebook. Love you, Demo. Thanks for having me on. Boy! We'll see you next time. Oh, boy! <laughs> Later. Peace out, man. Okay. Well, then. Um, it's just me now. Um, I also am going to stop streaming probably around in about 10 minutes. I've got to, I've got to, if you guys want my vlog, I got to go too. So that's going to be about 10 minutes, but, uh, you know, we can keep, we can keep chatting for a little bit. No big deal. Um, let's see here. What do we got? All right. Let's see here. Wirefoot. Um, Fagan. Fagan fan group. I thought, I thought Vape and Fagan was here for a sec. I was like, wait, what? Um, I have not kissed a quail. I actually have not done that before. Let's see here. All right. Oh, okay. You're wondering for the RBA um, smoke baby beasts. Ah, man. So that's, I, it's tough to say. Like, I don't actually know the dimensions of that deck. So I, I couldn't tell you what the best coil is for it, to be honest. You're going to have to kind of do a little bit more research on your own. Um, but, you know, uh, man, it's just one of those things. It's like it's it's tough to say. People ask me, what what's the best coil for this? What's the best, uh, you know, thing for this? What's the best, you know? And it's like, well, I can't tell you that because it's all down to how you vape and how you, how you build. Um, and if you're new to building, then the answer is round wire. And 26 gauge is a good place to start, whether it's Canthal or whatever. Um, or nichrome. Um, I wouldn't start with stainless steel because it's just a little bit too low resistance, uh, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, start out with some canthal, nichrome, 26, 28. You know, if you go to 24, be careful about your resistance. But, you know, uh, best wire. Okay, well, if you if you want to, like, know about the brands, the best wire brands, uh, I can tell you that. Um, it, and that's entirely my opinion. Um Let's see. Let me. I'll get to that in just one second here. Uh, what is your favorite juice? Oh, that's like asking a parent what's their favorite kid. Um, I don't. I, it it kind of depends on the day for me. But if you had to like be like, what is your all time favorite juice? And you can't vape anything else ever. Um, it would be a tie probably between Surf Satisfying and probably Sweet Black Tea from Poet. Those are pretty legit. Um, James we Waymeyer, do you Facebook post when you are live streaming? It just happened on this studio YouTube notification. Uh, I should have Facebook posted. Oh, damn it. Well, apparently my Facebook post said failed to post. So I was going to post a Facebook post, but I didn't post. So I, I do I do normally post a Facebook uh, notification when I'm live streaming. But uh, I apologize if that, didn't, uh, if that didn't get out there. That was supposed to go. Um, okay. Wire. Uh, in my opinion, the best place to buy wire of any type and of a really high quality is kidney puncher. Um, kidney puncher creates really amazing wire. Uh, it is not the cheapest. Um, he, um, the guy or the people behind kidney puncher create probably some of the highest quality wire I've ever used. Their ribbon wire comes off straight off the spool. I don't know how they do that, but like literally you just like pull it off and clip it and it's just a straight piece. Um, that's pretty amazing. And if it, and if it's not like that, you can contact them and they'll send you another spool of wire. Um, <clears throat> so Waymire, well, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, it looks like a German name. Um, I speak German, so that, uh, that would make sense. Um, so kidney puncher is a good place to go. Um, if you want wire, that's probably just as good. Um, look at coil society and I'm going to put a link for them here in this chat because coil society, I think is a relatively new company. Um, but coil society actually creates some really high quality wire. They have different sizes too. So you can get ribbon in like a thousand feet instead of just 100. Um, but give them a check out, check that out because they put out, really high quality wire too. And it's a lot cheaper uh, than Kitty Puncher. I use Coil Society for a lot of my wrap wire. Um, I have their 42 gauge and it's colors just as well as uh, um, 
Definitive wire is the same thing. Demo and it's fantastic. I've never used definitive wire. Um, yep, Coil Society. I'm just saying what I use, guys. I mean, feel free to pop your recommendations down there in the chat too. Um, I don't like lightning vapes. I saw Mitch say that. I don't like li lightning vapes. It's I've gotten dirty wire from them. I've got all of their their ribbon is like unusable. It comes all kinked and twisted and you know all whirly. You know, it's it's not. I don't, I don't use it. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So lightning vapes. It, it is cheap though. So um, you know, we can talk. We could talk about coils all day if, if people want to talk about coils. That's that's my jam. Um, Oh, Brian asked, do you know what's your next what's your next review or when's your next review? Cuz I can tell you what my next review is, but when is a little bit different. When when will be after I'm done with my uh California vlog. So it's probably going to be more like I would say so today's Thursday. Probably say my next review is going to be on Saturday. I would say Saturday or Sunday would be probably my guess. Um Temco I uh, wouldn't recommend Temco either, but that's just me too. Look, here's the, here's the deal, guys. In my opinion, just with a lot of other vape stuff, if you spend a little bit more money uh, to get the better wire, your coils are going to last you longer. You're going to have a better vape. You know, like it's just everything's going to be better and it will be worth it. Because when I use, so I use, uh, my Fralians are consisted of, Kidney Puncher Ribbon, Kidney Puncher 40 gauge, and Twisted Messes 28 gauge because I still have a bunch of it left over before I started switching to uh, Kidney Puncher. Um, and uh, it's, the, my coils last me for, man, I don't know, like three three to six months, like if I, if I take good care of them. Um, let's see here. Uh, what's going on, Demo? What's up, Frank? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Brian, next review is going to be Dead Rabbit SQ. Dead Rabbit SQ. It's coming. Thanks, thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. Crazy Wire Co. Okay, I've never even tried this. I, uh, I, I do want to try some other wire companies. I've heard people talk pretty good about KB Vapes. Uh, KB Vapes is pretty, like, super, super, super cheap. Um, it's not like the cheapest of cheap, but it's a lot cheaper than, uh, than, tw uh, Twisted Messes, Kidney Puncher and Coil Society for sure. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, I've heard KB, KB is pretty good. So, so I've heard now I, I'm, I probably shouldn't even say this, but I've heard a rumor heard a rumor that that twisted messes wire is just rebranded kidney puncher wire and i don't know what to say about that because i can't i can't prove that and i have no interest in proving that or not proving it or whatever but i've heard i've heard that um but either way twisted messes is really good stuff too my issue with twisted messes is that it doesn't go below 27 gauge um <clears throat> and i would love to use you know, like I would love to have some 26 gauge involved, but you know, it is what it is. That's, I suppose that's because that's where anarchist and twisted messes cross. So, um, crazy wire. Oh, that's, that's a UK company then. Okay. All right. Um, I don't think twisted messes is anarchist though. I, I, I've chatted a little bit to Kent and to Dwayne about that. And twisted messes is not, uh, it's not anarchist. Oh, okay. All right, Brian. That's cool. I mean, I, look, I, I, I have no reason to believe or disbelieve anybody. Like, it's just, I, I, people tell me things that I'm like, Oh, okay. Like maybe, you know, <laughs> it's a lot of misinformation out there. Um, let's see here. Favorite mech build. Uh, well, okay. So it depends on what kind of mech, uh, first of all, but if you're talking like a, a tube or parallel, um, let's just go parallel, right? Parallel is, um, parallel would be for me, uh, 0.11 ohms is typically kind of where I like to sit. And I have been really liking my interlocking Fralians lately. Uh, I find that they give me a little bit better flavor than the, the regular Fralians. Um, and that's five wraps on a three millimeter dual coil 0.11. Um, and that, that gives me probably the best flavor uh, for me and the best vapor. 
probably in, in concert. Uh, if not interlocking Freelians, then it would be Freelian. Um, and then if not that, it would be just a regular frame staple. Um, anything with ribbon is what I'm into. Um, I mean, I, I like round wire too. I'm rocking a fused Clapton in, in this uh, recoil right now, but uh, I definitely am a ribbon a ribbon wire guy. Um, so if you want, if you want the the, the specs of the coils that I build, um, let me just uh, let me just type those down below because I'm not I don't I don't sell these and I don't it's not a secret anyway. Um, let's see here, the M Turk M Turk Alien, yeah. Uh, I like, I, I, I prefer the ribbon. Like, M-Turk's quills are great, but, uh, you know. Uh, I do know how to make a mohawk. Yes. It's, uh, they, they vape like crap. They're not, they're not good vapes. In, in general, if you vape a mohawk and you like it, you know, that's cool. But I've never vaped a mohawk and actually enjoyed it. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Let me pop, pop this in here. Let me see. Where are we going again? Um, so, as for anarchist wire, um, I've used it. I own some of it. Um, the problem with anarchist wire, oops. Okay. I guess that's, hold on. The problem with anarchist wire for me is that I've done blind tastes with it where I've literally put pit it against kidney puncher side by side, two identical RDAs, two identical builds. You know, I, everything ohmed out basically the same. And, um, I had, you know, I, I did like a blind taste test with it with a friend and, uh, I didn't know what was in what, and I couldn't tell a difference in the way that it vaped or the way that it tasted. So, you know, it, it did ramp up a little bit faster. We, we did this, determine that for sure, but it wasn't much. So, um, you know, use it if you like it, but it, I, I don't, I don't, shit, man. I don't, even I don't have the money to spend all that money on Anarchist Wire, man. It's, it's insane. Um, super, super expensive. Sorry, guys. I have a mechanical keyboard, so it's going to be a little bit loud. I'm typing my specs in for my coils here. Okay. Cool. So that's those are the specs that I use for my interlocking Fralians. Um, yeah. Let's see here. And those come out to about 0 .1, 0 0.11 ohms. Um, so, so yeah, that's about that. Well, uh, we are at nine o'clock central time here in the in the good old Twin Cities, United States of America. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off here um, in a minute. Uh, yeah, 26 gauge decor for that. Yes. Um, but if you guys have any more questions, please go ahead and uh, pop them down in the chat real quick. I'll take a last round of questions here before I take off. Um, uh, nice. Thanks for the specs. I'm out. See you later, Bobby. <laughs> go, go have fun. Um, no, yeah, but, uh, you know, shoot me some questions here before you leave. I should have said that before I said the other thing. Um, and then let's see here. What else do we got? A crazy cook asked me if I'm getting the um, HMM Squonker. I do have it. I did a first impressions for it, and I did not like it very much. So, um, yeah, it was uh, it was not uh, not. I mean, the first impressions was okay, but I used it more after that, and I was like, man, you know, not not super great. Um, home office is in St. Paul. Oh, word, cool, awesome. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I live in the western suburbs area. Um, enjoying the 502. Uh, no, the answer is no, Frank. I'm not. Um, but I haven't, I haven't spent much time with it. So we'll, uh, you know, we're going to be, uh, spending a lot more time with that before I, before I put a review up for sure. For sure. For sure. Uh, favorite cotton, uh, Japanese organic cotton, Kogendo. I don't, uh, I don't mess around with any of the fancy stuff. I, uh, I personally don't have a need for it. I've, I don't know. Like it's, uh, you know, it's uh, people, people spend a ton of money on cotton and I've used a ton of cotton. I've, I have a bag of Kendo sitting right here. I have a bag of, you know, uh, cotton bacon downstairs. Eh, like it's, it's, it's okay. You know, it's, uh, you know, 
it is what it is. I prefer Japanese organic because I get a huge bag for like 10 bucks. Um, let's see here. Uh, Thug Life, RDA. Uh, no idea. No idea. I don't even know who makes that, honestly. Um, let's see here. Uh, how do you make your moolah? It's been pleased the secret to success. Oh man, you can't you can't ask somebody a secret to success. It's not a secret. It's uh, it's a healthy dose of working really really hard and luck. It's gonna be real here, you know. Like it's just luck. Like nine times out of ten, if you're really successful at a stuff at something, you got really lucky and you got the right amount of help in the right time and you worked really hard and that's and that that is what it is, you know. Um, you know, as far as what I do, I'm a currencies trader. No, I don't trade uh, cryptos. Everybody asks me that right away. Um, I don't trade cryptos, and uh, I am a currencies trader. And you know, that always there's always a ton of questions. That's my that's my day job, though. I kind of come here to like get away from that, though, because that's that's it's it's a pain in the ass, and I I just it's a good job. I I, I you know it's one of those things that I just don't. Uh, that's that's my that's my other life. It's my David Morgan professional mantis investing CEO life, you know. <laughs> um, let's see here. Do you have a video? Well, thanks everybody who's saying goodbye. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to keep asking I'm going to keep fielding some questions here. Um, let's see. You have a video explaining ribbon wire as far as the specs. Uh, no, I don't have a video on that, but Ribbon Wire is one of those things that I would highly recommend you go check out. <sighs> you would go check out uh, Steam Engine and their Wire Wizard. Um, let me grab a link for you. Um, Steam Engine Wire Wizard is a way to input your coil specs and you can see how it'll affect your resistance. Um, you know, go check that out. Um, you know, play around with it and whatnot. If you have never used it, it's a, it's a great way to go. Uh, I, I prefer it to the coil building app. Um, what is it? Vape, vape app or vape help or coil help or coil app. I don't, I don't know. Um, I prefer this. It's a little bit more accurate. I think I can get it easier. Um, I, I get mine on Amazon, James. I, I get my cotton on Amazon. I get it just the big Coke and dough bag. Um, very cheap, easy. Um, let's see here. Do you know anywhere that sells rolls of Clapton wire like Lightning Vapes? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, if you go to Advanced Vape Supply, uh, all of their stuff is 316L stainless for the most part. Um, so if you don't like that, then that's not the way to go. Otherwise, for pre-built wrap, you know, pre pre-wrapped, uh, you know, spooled up Clapton wire. I would highly recommend that you would just, you know, probably just go with like Geek Vape or Vandy Vape or, or whatever. You know, I mean, like, honestly, it's, you know, it's, uh, as long as it's not, you know, terribly made, it, it'll be fine, you know, wherever you get it. UD, yeah, Geek Vape, Vandy Vape. I mean, you know, all that kind of stuff. After show, after show. Oh, right. That is tomorrow, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan. There will be, there will be the vape stew tomorrow as usual after show as usual, um, planning on it. Let's see here. I, I should be good to go by then. I should be able to have some alcohol. <laughs> um, let's see here. Did I miss anything? Um, N80 or 316 L stainless, uh, N80 for me. Um, unless that's, unless you're asking about the availability of pre-built, but for me, I'm an N80 guy all the way. I I rock Nichrome, and that's pretty much it. Like, I rarely rarely use Canthal. Um, I just prefer N80 for the taste and for the uh, for the ramp up. It's just much 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 better wire, in my opinion. Um, but you know, I know a lot of people who use Canthal who believe that it's better than N80. So, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. So cool. Well, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, for pre-made coils, the Coilology, definitely that Coilology kit that Brian just put in there, that is definitely cool. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to pop links here into my Instagram. Uh, if you guys haven't followed me there, go check me out at, on Instagram. 
I do lots of live streams on uh, my Instagram, actually, a lot of building streams. So when I'm building coils, I do streams there um, quite, uh, quite often. Um, so go check me out there. And then I'm also on Twitter here as well. Um, you know, definitely give that a check out as well. I don't post a whole lot on Twitter. That's like my kind of one that I just haven't been really doing much with. I'm kind of, kind of trying to take it to take this one, one step at a time. But if you do want to go follow me on Twitter, go check that out uh, there. And that's about it. Oh, and if you guys aren't a member, if you guys are not a member of the Demos Vape Lounge, let me, uh, let me get this here link here. Absolutely, man. Thanks for, thanks for coming. Thanks for, thanks everybody for stopping by. Um, check out that Facebook group. That's my Facebook group on Facebook. Oh, apparently the link is broken. Why is that a thing? Um, okay. How do I get a share link for this? Oh shit. Okay. Well, for some reason that, that link won't work. Um, anyway, just go in, go on Facebook, type Demos Vape Lounge. Yep, just type that in Facebook. Uh, you'll find it. Um, I don't know why that link is broken because I literally just pulled it off the top of the page that I was just on. So I don't know what the fuck that deal is with that. But cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, the next thing you'll see from me is the California ECC vlog. I'm going to go finish that right now. So thanks so much for, uh, oh, sorry, UK, Andy, you caught just the end of the stream. Um, thank you guys so much. Appreciate all of it. Um, copy the link and then repaste it. You'll garbage at the end that YouTube adds. Delete that and the link is good. See, well, I try just, just, just go search me on Facebook. So anyway, peace out everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Boy out.